Like, do, I, do I have a deep voice? Uh, That was lower than your voice typically is. Yo, do I have a deep voice? That's not your voice. <laughs> no, this is how I sound. No, it's not. Mm-mm. I sound like this. You th- I think you have the highest voice on the show. I no, you Yeah, have, yours is borderline squeaky. You have yeah. mad upward inflection. Me? I'm not saying I don't. I have a way deeper voice than you. No, you always are like, but why? That's inflection, but <laughs> yeah. my baseline <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, no, you have the you have the highest pitch voice on you're the show. Al- you're always like, Kyle. 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 No, but I inflect. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I'm not uh, monotone, but my base level voice, like if... if if I rolled over in bed and it was like the first time I spoke to you in the morning, you would be like, oh, that's it's like raspy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like nice. I sound like Miley Cyrus. I do have an immensely monotone voice and it upsets me. But it's high. Yeah, yours is high pitched. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how it usually is. I watch feel like any, if I do inflection, watch any stream clip. it's weird. Like if you saw me do inflection, I feel like I would seem odd. You can't do it unironically. You do it like a gamer voice. What's up, guys? Yeah, like, ugh. Yeah, that's no, gross. you just have, you just keep your high voice. I'm not gonna be able to change anything. Uh, so. See, it's it's you're lowering it on purpose. No, that's not this there. Not that's right. your voice. That's my voice. Yeah, it's high. It's really high pitched. Kyle, what's it's yours? It's not that high pitched. Talk Kyle. like this. Yeah, <laughs> is that yours? Yeah, type shit. <laughs> type shit. You hit every syllable. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, are we recording? I uh, would just need a clap. But yeah. Oh, we have to. Yeah, yeah. Shit, cold open. You mean you're exactly your reply to what I'm gonna say? No, you're just gonna say like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby. That's a new one told story. A uh, new one told story. It's a fresh big untold story. A uh, new one told story. New Untold Story episode uh, 374. Closest yet. 375. Yeah, 375. Very cool. Just an extra one. An extra clap? Yeah, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Wait, what? I say every syllable? You pronounce every syllable. Why wouldn't I? Say, you do do that. I I said I didn't mean to do that just now. I think it's intellectual. It's the antithesis, which means opposite? Yeah. Of... Southern urban. Southern urban? They o- omit the final syllable. Like people from Memphis? Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't touch the syllable. If, it's, if it ends in a consonant, no, it don't. No, it don't. <laughs> Memphis. What else? But the Memphis accent is, is unique in a different... They, they like music. Oh, I didn't we'll know that. We'll get to that. When? There'll be a callback to that. Of it, like later today, very soon, like in the next twenty seconds. Three seventy-five <laughs> is. Pull up my notes. Sure. Three seventy-five. Oh, we'll do this. One hundred episodes ago was episode two seventy-five. Makes sense. KB's birthday mystery featuring. John Wait, is today Clayton. your birthday? No. Oh no. Oh, that was just 100. 100 episodes doesn't <laughs> equate to one year. Yeah. Or my birthday. <laughs> Do you remember what that was about? Yes. I didn't for a while. You got sent a nude. I got sent a, a pair of breasts nude mm. in the nude variety mm-hmm. to... Um, Both bear or one? From a girl I went to college with years ago. But that, no face was attached to the breasts. No face. It could have been... It might not have been hers. And it turns out it wasn't her. Mm-hmm. But it also wasn't the dude who sent me them. So it wasn't the dude that we called and pressured. The number that sent me them wasn't, or, or it was. I think it was a 50-50 split. Do you know this mook? I think he was here. No, I don't think he was. I don't think for episode 275. No, I came in Someone around. texted me a picture of their tits or someone's tits. It's human tits. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> And we called the number live on air. It was a, a very nervous man who answered, claiming he swore it wasn't him. And then we still don't know if it was him or not. So that was 100 episodes ago. That was 100 episodes ago. Three Wait, si- so he sent you his tits? No, he just probably found they're, tits they online. They were fe- female. Yeah, they were, yeah. They were female tits. They were male tits. Mm-hmm. Okay, but wait, do you have, do we know... Do we have more on that story? No, it was just like a look back 100 episodes ago. Oh, cool. To an extent, yeah. 375 is the combined weight of Victor Wembanyama and me. Wow. Wow. Um, How much does he weigh? 
209 to my 166. Pretty cool. He's 7'5, 209. Rudy, what do you weigh? 200. 200? <laughs> <laughs> Two bills. Yeah. Damn. And you're 5'11. I am six foot, yes. So, yeah. Correct. Well, but I did the math. He is proportionately like he is just as he is just as much taller than me as he is heavier than me. How what? How does that math work out? Our total weight, he makes up fifty six percent of that. Okay. Our total height, he also makes up fifty six percent of that. You wouldn't think. He's well, I would. Quick. You would think it would be higher. No, more You'd than think double? he'd be way taller than me than he is heavier than me. Oh, so you guys are okay, really cool. So you're exactly half you're exactly fifty six percent of Victor Wembanyama. Forty four, yeah. Forty four percent of Victor Wembanyama. Three seventy five is the amount of dollars the band Quill got paid to perform at Woodstock nineteen sixty nine. I don't know the band Quill. Which is perhaps paradoxically their lasting legacy. So they were the first to perform at Woodstock nineteen sixty nine in front of a crowd of four hundred thousand. Jesus. Which is unfathomable. Yeah. And because of a technical glitch, it was raining, they didn't make the Woodstock movie. Oh. The documentary that put everyone on the map. Santana was next up. They only got paid 750 Santana got famous very from this documentary. Quill didn't get shit. Can we look Quill, up Quill is up band? in arms. Damn, I feel bad for Quill. Uh, no, well, here's the catch. What? Quill... Their set, their music is absolute dog shit. Oh, they're not good. They're horrible. Have you ever heard a Quill song? Here's um, I piece together their set. It's garbage. And remind, they're playing in front of four hundred thousand people. Uh, That's the last four World Cup final attendances combined. Here is what they sound like. How these are just pieced together bits of their song. This is what they sound. This is their their songs. This this is really bad. But this I, sounds like a campfire orgy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they just do like. Eh. Oh, they don't have words. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Wonder why yeah, <laughs> to four hundred thousand people. Yeah. No how did they? Knows. How did they get on? So was nobody famous at the first Woodstock? Really? Um, Probably not. G the Jimi Hendrix got paid the most, eighteen thousand dollars. Okay. Which with inflation would be about one hundred forty-seven thousand. Okay. So they, I think he was famous. But yeah, that that's Quill. Damn, poor Quill. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for three seconds. No, that was interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, did anything happen to Quill? Did any good happen to them? No, like that ruined them. Is there a section in their Wikipedia about uh, this? There's not. It's hard to find things about them. Early days. Yeah. Damn. Poor Quill. There's a big section on Woodstock. Damn, man. Yeah, that's Quill. Cool. Man, well, well deserved all around. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah. Happy that 374. Last one in Chicago for one episode. Mm -hmm. Have you prepped your dad for next week? I haven't told him yet, but I think he's going to be on. Yeah. Will, will he be in the same house as you? He will be. Yeah. So we can get him on. Yeah. Just walk up with your computer. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be, um, we've never done this before. Definitely not. No, but it'll be a big episode for us. Yeah, I gotta get him prepped. Yeah, happy birthday, Maresh comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Happy I'm in my Maresh, Maresh Blackhawks jersey. Uh, New Year's resolution of mine <laughs> is uh, every paycheck I will be buying a custom Maresh. How many Mareshes do you have? Six Mareshes. Six Maresh mm -hmm. jerseys. Yeah. Has and anyone... one and one real one. Do you count Maresh as a Maresh? No, Maresh isn't a jersey. Maresh is my friend. I know. I'm just saying, like, I would count him. I wouldn't count him as a jersey. I would count him as a friend. But you have Mareshes. I have one Maresh friend. Okay, I'm just asking. So you have six right now? I have six Mareshes. Once you get seven, does it jump to 11? 
<laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <God. laughs> um, I didn't think, though, this looks exactly like Maresh in any every single way, pretty much. The, that? Yeah. The logo. And, it kind of uh, does. But yeah, I got it custom made. I did, instead of getting Captain, I got the A, because India is in Asia. So this is an Asian <laughs> Indian, not a yeah. native. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, let me know what uh, the next jersey I should get is. But I'm going to get one a week, and I want this wall to be the wall of Maresh's. You should get a, a Steph Curry jersey. But it says Maresh? It says still says Curry. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe put, yeah, M Curry. M Cur Maresh Curry. His last name isn't Curry, though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I he's associated. Think, yeah. Yeah, I'll just get a Steph. Okay, we'll get one Curry jersey. Yeah. <laughs> what team? What teams do you have so far? Astros, Mets, Rangers, Pirates, this, um, and one uh, 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 um, um, like a La Liga team that was his, and I took from him. That's six. I think that's six. Six. Yeah. yeah. So you have an idea? Is there like a rhyme or reason? For like the next ones you get? Well, this one I was going to a Blackhawks game. Right. Every time I just go to a game and they can do custom jerseys there, I buy one. Got it. And I'm a Maresh one. But the listener, if you guys want to hop on board, I want this to be the way. Yeah. I want like people to see like Maresh jerseys around and have them think it's like a thing or a brand. I think I'm making Maresh my brand. That is ambitious, but I, I'm for There's it. one guy in Philly that has a Maresh Eagles jersey. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but get the Maresh. Send us our your receipts. We'll fuck around with them. We'll, th we'll tweet them. <laughs> we'll tweet out your receipts. <laughs> yeah, we'll tweet your receipt of getting mm -hmm. a Maresh, but yeah. not you in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day I hope to see a bump into somebody else wearing a Maresh. Mm -hmm. I want it to become 375. like... 375. Oh. <laughs> what do you want it to become? Uh, I want it to be like Nike. Like, people don't... If I see somebody wearing Nike, I don't think they know. I want it to become huge. Maybe start with Asics. <laughs> I'll start with Asics. Yeah, I want it to become Asics. You know Asics? I love Asics. Oh, you love it. Like you a, love that's a Asics? wrestling brand. No, oh, it's no, a cross it's a country brand. Running shoes. Oh, as well, yeah, yeah. What did they make wrestling shoes? There, that was our big thing. I, the Asics. I also wrestled one year in high school. So I found out Mook. I just found this out. I didn't know that. It when seventh grade, eighth grade. Sorry, eighth grade. I went out for the wrestling team because I didn't make the basketball team, and I yeah, went. No, one. We we tortured those kids. Yeah. Oh, I was like the I'm kidding. Well, they did torture me because they were like, oh, you're not good enough for basketball. Like now you're coming here to like join the club kind of thing. And I went one and 11. What uh, was the win? It was versus a girl. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I swear to God. Dude, that is so big because imagine. I know. That but, could affect the trajectory of your life. But the other 11 <laughs> L's were like within a minute. Like, yeah. I, I was like the meat slab they threw out to did, like the 135 weight class when I weighed like 108 just to like fill a spot. Now I would just get ragdolled. Was the girl the first one you wrestled? No, I wrestled her like three matches in. Okay, so you're kind of confident after that win. No. Okay. <laughs> no, <'cause laughs> it was like a do or die situation. Like I probably would have quit the team if I didn't beat the girl. But wait, you stayed on the team after going one and eleven? Oh yeah, it the was whole fun. Year. Yeah, practice was fun. Can we get a photo practice of you in the was singlet? Fun. Yeah. I hate it. Practice. We were like a small school. It was very like fuck around. Mm -hmm. And like playing sports in middle school was like, it was more fun than it was competitive. I've never had fun playing sports. <laughs> Honest on, I just came to that realization. Never have. I dread it every time. Like pickup? Dread. We, we grew up in a pickup area. Bethlehem, mm -hmm. we loved pickup. There was always pickup. Um, always, dr never enjoyed, never have had fun never. playing sports. No. We grew it's, up in a, yeah, it's sports or nothing. Yeah, we, I mean, we grew yeah. up, we are in a town of fucking 800 people and we had like seven baseball fields around, like within a five minute walk. Um, it was more baseball field than, it took up as much area as the homes did. Yeah, there's so many, there was so many baseball. I used to look them up on Google Earth and pin them. You'd pin the baseball fields in just them. our area or what? Let's talk about Memphis. Okay. Memphis. Um, that's well, their, their, um... Zip codes are 375 dot dot dot. Okay. That's that's Memphis. Um What do we know about Memphis? Grizzlies, Beale Street, Zach Randolph, mm -hmm. NLE Choppa. Yeah, I actually have a list of the rappers. Memphis rappers? Mm-hmm. 
I tiered them based on how intimidating their their name is. Okay, interesting. What do we have? There's a lot of rappers. Um, well, the first one is I love Memphis slash I heart Memphis. No spaces, lowercase I. Very unintimidating. Yeah, yeah. The lowercase I as the onset is pr- like as flamboyant as you can get. In my opinion, the lowercase i. If you start with a lowercase i and then go uppercase, that that just seems. It looks. Flamboyant. It's like it's like tech. Oh, techy or flamboyant. Okay, um, either or. It's a fine line between tech and homosexuality. And then what's he also? He fits the bill. He um he hit his debut single was hit the quan. That's his. Oh, that's I love Memphis. Mm-hmm. Hit the quan. Made his television performance debut on the Ellen Show. Oh. So not not intimidating, not no. hard, not cold. Um, called a cop a pussy ass immigrant. That's the coldest thing. He's the hardest thing. He pussy does. ass. The cop was a pussy ass yeah, immigrant. Yeah, throw a, a part. What was the cop? Do we know? I any? don't know. That's all I got. Then you got the next tier. This is the flamboyant adjective tier. DJ Squeaky <laughs> and Juicy Fruit. Is there a chance these can, you could probably you're part putting yourself in danger right? i am yeah because <laughs> young Dolph is gonna come up okay <laughs> dj squeaky obviously that's not intimidating associated with things like cleanliness rubber duckies cartoons rudy's voice rudy's squeaky ass voice mm-hmm. guilty and his little ass couch juicy fruit not intimidating well it's tough because juicy implies curvaceous then, fruit implies gay juicy fruit is a woman yeah oh Co- is she curvaceous collabed with saucy santana on the track pinot noir does she have a crazy big ass i would imagine yeah yeah does she oh my god um yeah she's juicy for sure that's yeah, her no f-r-o-o-t oh juicy fr- oh that's how they spell fruit and fruit loops i believe the wood yeah which makes it less intimidating yeah yeah. Then you got like Kia Shine and Glorilla are on the same. Ooh, I level. like her. You know? Glorilla, I like her. Glorilla? Yeah. She's on the come up. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Kia Shine? Yeah, that's like the, the, that's the, the job. The least intimidating automobile automobile. It's it's the easiest maintenance to do to an automobile and it's the least intimidating yeah, of the shine, automobiles. Not intimidating at all. Kia Shine. Oh, he's intimidating though. Is intimidating. Yes. Though. Oh, gee, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Shine. Mm-hmm. The next category, <laughs> Mr. Shine. also not intimidating, um, Poo Shiesty and Drummer Boy, um, both ch- little children's characters. Yeah, Parumpa Sh- Pum Pum. Poo Shiesty's in prison. Poo Shiesty is in prison. So yeah, Shiesty's in- he's got he's, intimidating, he's, but it's spelled like Poo as in Winnie the Pooh. He shot people. Yeah, scary. Um, Poo Winnie the Pooh should have went by Winnie. Correct. Yeah, he was I guess just a up. That's like calling Jabba the Hut the Hut. <laughs> yeah, it's Jabba. Yeah, not intimidating character. Um, yeah, why didn't he go by Winnie? Yeah, why do we call Winnie the if he's, Pooh? If he's, and what is a poo? Well, if he's a poo, that means there's many poos. Mm-hmm. If he's one of many poos, what's a poo? Google? What's a no poo? one ever calls Winnie the Pooh Winnie? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. know who you're talking about mm-hmm. at all. Oh, you mean the poo? oh winnie (laughs) please my father's winnie call me the poo (laughs) wait did i say swan why is he called poo yeah there we go but poo shiesty got his start he would wear a uh red um crop top and no no pants (laughs) that's not true wait a swan is a poo is a swan it was originally a swan in the 1920s it's a very fine name yeah, for a I swan. I don't think it's like an actual word. Okay, no, it's a yeah. it's a it's a specific swan that the this dude would feed. Okay, so I guess he's one of yeah. yeah. Okay, that's Winnie the Pooh. Then we got Snooty Wild, which Snooty means uppity, uppity snobbish. Turn your nose up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he yeah he. Mm. <laughs> His name is La Preston Porter too, which is also not intimidating. But um, he's really against kissing. He thinks that's gay. He thinks kissing's yeah, gay? Yeah, despite, yeah, that's going to hurt you. He has, a, he has a bunch of songs about, uh, we don't do no kissing, no kissing, no kissing. <laughs> we don't do no kissing, no kissing, no kissing. Oh, he's very anti-kiss. Don't know where your mouth be. That, that was the sentiment. He doesn't know where their mouth's been, so he's not going to kiss. And he repeats that a lot. He reiterates, we don't do no kissing, no kissing. You silly. Th- this might be... Uh, 
Kissing is the best. Then Zedzilla jumped on the track and also reiterated that. Wait, Zedzilla doesn't like, like kissing? We don't do no kissing. Can't even blow a kiss my way. <laughs> don't even play in text messages. Can't hey, yo. Leave yeah. me no kissy face. Do girls just sign off letters with a bunch of O's? I guess. And he's oh. also in the camp. Yo, mouth been so messy. State to state with that face. Um, Yeah. She stay on her knees all day. Yeah. No kissing. <laughs> Next tier, Finessa two times, no spaces, times with a Y to the number. That, someone who finesses is somewhat intimidating, but that reads like a like an AIM pro, uh, yeah, screen Yeah, it reads name. like a screen name. It might have been. Um, he was imprisoned for firing an AK-style pistol at a person oh. at a nightclub. So these are just by names, not by them themselves, because mm. these are intimidating people. People, yes. The names, this is the ambiguous category, Tommy Wright the Third. And Cities of Eve. I didn't know if that was intimidating or not. <laughs> I think it might be. The next tier is Block Boy JB. Just intimidating. Mm -hmm. I don't think. You don't think Block Boy It, it is? sounds like a, the kid in class who would try to eat the Lincoln Logs. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that hard. I think I'm just afraid of uh, all these guys. Gangsta Boo. That's, That's like scary. Boo. Boo um, like yeah, a ghost. Yeah. Like a gangsta. Boo. Um, OG boo dirty. The next category is one I can't say. Koopsta Nick. Um, <laughs> Censor. Crunchy Black and Lord Infamous. That's 3-6 Mafia. Then you got the intimidating category. Key Glock, NLE Choppa. Yep. Those are guns. These are guns. Uh, the next tier is Al Capone. Just a, with a K. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get you kind of, yeah, that's scary. And then adding, switching out a C with a K makes it way more intimidating. Too. Somewhat. It's yeah. a sharper letter. Yeah. Yes. Al Capone, intimidating rap name. And then the final tier is just his name is Criminal Man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> with two N's and an E. Oh, so, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. So, that's number one. Yeah. <laughs> criminal Man. He, kinda, it just, he spells it out for us. And he was indeed a criminal. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, oh, those are Memphis rappers. <laughs> Interesting. That was a fun lesson. That was a fun, fun I lesson. Enjoyed it. And this is Poo Shiesty, uh speaking, and you have to translate it. <laughs> I got this. I think Rudy will be good at this. <laughs> oh man, I was I was could not take Spanish, but I am fluent in Ubonics. Earring, they knew. My ears not even pierced. My earrings, they knew. My ears not even pierced. What? Earring, they knew. My ears not even pierced. Pierced, pierced yet? Yeah. Pierced yet. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. I just got them with the big bird time, so I told you this like a couple days old. These two, they came together. <laughs> One more? Yeah. Can we hear that? Mm -hmm. The burr was cool. It's like a couple days old, these two, they came together. Those are like a couple days old, these two, they came together. Yeah, yep. so yeah, you guys got it. I just got them with the big burr time. So mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. The big burr. on the right track. The big burr. Burr. The big burr chain. Like, yeah, it was like. Oh, uh, it was icy. Freezing cold icy, yeah. Got it. Would you want Criminal Man on the pod or would you be too intimidated? Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's get him. Let's reach out. He, he's in a movie called The Neighborhood Dope Man. But he's also in Insecure Romance? Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. The Neighborhood Dope Man. Uh, guys, I'm making a decision for us. Uh, we will be doing a watch-along live next week that people can tune in for, and they can watch this with us. Th yeah, I'm in. All right. I'd love Struggling to with his finances, working as a mechanic, Crim Maine. Chooses the dope truck. Oh, he goes as by Crim Main. Until a client offers him a dangerous proposition. <laughs> mm -hmm. The cops are here. Don't call me criminal. Just call me Crim. There is there, there is one omission. <laughs> Just call have. me crime. I, I, <laughs> did I forget? I feel like I forgot a lot. Yeah, probably. There's one big one. I, I thought you were going to talk about Duke oh, Deuce. Who? Duke Deuce. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. The one he's he has a like one of yeah. the greatest videos every time where he gets resuscitated in the booth. That's oh, a good one. Oh, that's him? Yeah. Duke Deuce. Yeah. He's got crazy feet work. What does that mean Footwork. when it comes to rapping? His dance moves are incredible. Oh. For, especially for a bigger yeah. fella. 
Yeah. Kronk ain't dead. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube YouTube uh, just like got rid of all ad blockers. Yeah, it's tough. A lot of TikTok guys telling you how to get around it. Oh, is that him dying right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead in the booth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is fucking sick. Yeah, this is That's sick. really cool. Oh. Oh, he's the best. Yeah, this, yeah. This is about this is a crazy omission. Oh, yeah. Good call. Who's what tier is he in? Duke Deuce as a name. Nah, mid tier. I don't think that's intimidating. I'm too afraid to make a joke. You could, uh, you could like play connections with the rappers. Yeah, he would be in the poo shiesty tier <laughs> with Duke. Odes to, I guess Deuce as well. Feces, and then <laughs> there's also Money Bag Yo and Yo Gotti. So the Yo, I forgot them too. Ooh, yeah, I yeah. like Money Bag Yo. He goes hard. These, I'm sure all these fellas <laughs> do. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that mean a lot to him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, move. Uh, tweet him right now and remind him that he goes hard. Yeah. <laughs> Which brings up another point. Mook was a wrestler for a year. He was also a drug dealer for a year. You were a drug dealer? Yeah. You were Not just weight? a drug dealer, a known drug dealer. Mook was a oh, known like drug dealer. He was dealer. a meme. Yeah. It wasn't like a like a good thing to be known. It was like In like high school? Also, Mook got kicked out of Penn State. Oh, we're doing this. What why have you been sitting on this so long? Mook was a drug dealer his freshman year at Penn State. Yeah. Selling weed? Yeah. Well, he was all right, I'll, I want was, Kyle to tell me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Mook was in a position to to be selling weed. He instead uh, doled out weed. You he doled gave it? away. He gave away weed. Yeah, that was his dealing. Were you too shy to ask for money? I was too down to like. I was too down for people to have fun. Like, it would be like, oh, I'll hook you up with, like, 1.3. So you had to been so popular. So you were how many yeah. degrees from the kingpin? Two. It's the kingpin sold to a guy who sold to you. Yes. Was that guy intimidating? No. The guy that sold to me was, like, my boy. Okay. And he would front me an O every week. So I'd have an O. And the plan was to sell half so I could smoke for free with the other half. And every week I would just end up, like, handing out free weed or like someone would come over, they, I'd give them like 1.5 for like 10 bucks when I should have just gave them like one. Um, I would, like people would come back to Did my Did you apartment. get fired? No. I he just, was a student. Yeah, I was a student. I would just end up like paying more for the ounce than it was like, that I should have. Like I would lose money on every bag that I got. So, and you got thrown out of Penn State for this? No. No. That's a, no. That's a separate story. But he was known on campus as orange the drug deal <laughs> <laughs> like there was like uh yik yaks or or snapchats going yik, around yik yak yik was yak. big I'm talking about orange orange the drug dealer That's like they would spot him at like the rec hall or the cafeteria and like look it's orange the drug dealer yeah like like would there be yik yaks like just saw orange the drug dealer playing badminton that was that was one but the big one was i was at the gym and I was like running on the treadmill and then all of a sudden I got back on Snapchat when I got home and I saw like a picture going around. It was like, yo, Orange the drug dealer works out. <laughs> so it's like me on a treadmill. <laughs> it was crazy how people became like legends in Yik Yak in college. My roommate became my like, first taste of uh, going viral was on Yik Yak. Really? I, yeah. I kind of chased that too. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, I was I was crushing. Yik what were you I, saying? I was saying nasty shit. Me too. Nasty, nasty shit. And uh, I was making up lies, and uh, I, there was no, like, I got a rush, but then I realized that nobody knew it was me. Yeah. What mm -hmm. were you saying? My big one was uh, uh, Ebola, like one of the first cities in America it was founded was Akron. Okay. And I said, uh, Ebola wasn't, fuck. Ebola was in Akron. I feel bad for Ebola. That was our, <laughs> that was our rival school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. And it probably went crazy. 
Yeah, and then one of our my, my teammates got kicked off for just saying there's going to be a bomb at the <laughs> <laughs> at the football stadium. <laughs> and they that's tra- way funny. And they traced, they found out his IP, and they, they I kind of felt bad for him. Would he get kicked out of the school? The he'd get kicked off our team. Yeah, for saying there'd be a bomb. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, I was talking about Ebola. He said bomb. Where'd he end up going? Is he doing okay? Um. <laughs> <laughs> He just yik yacked a bomb oh, threat. Bomb threat That's crazy. Yik yak. Yeah, I just remember that. He booted off the wrestling team. Yeah. And did he leave the college? <laughs> the most <laughs> embarrassing way to go. Yeah. <laughs> was it even a clever bomb threat? He was like, bomb at the. I think he was just like. But it was just the, a classic bomb threat. Straight to the point. There's going to be a bomb at Dick Stadium. Oh my God. <laughs> that goes. <laughs> that explodes. <laughs> that ex- it's going to explode. <laughs> He was almost like telling people, like he was almost helping people. Yeah. Like, hey, just so you know. Like, and I like, yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm getting in trouble for this. I'm just warning people. <laughs> Not my bomb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got to find out where he is. I really want to know if it fucked up his life. I oh, I think shit. I blocked him. Why? Um, he was he was he would cyber bully me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was All he right. a mean guy? Yeah, I think when I went for yeah, dude, wrestlers are dickheads. Some of them are. Yeah, I think I remember starting up Instagram stories again, and every time I posted, he would be he would just say something mean. So I, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this the bully that was looking for you? Well, remember you have you have that bully. He goes by something. Uh, the bully. I still get. Uh, What's his name? It's Mean Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he actually sent me like a, a selfie that he was in Chicago. Me and Peter. Yeah, I mean, me and Peter's been and bullying I, you for like three years. Yeah, don't Seven come years. outside. Seven years. Seven years since the Craigslist days. Me yeah. and Peter always hated me. Peter. And then every like I would actually like try. He's tra- he's been trying. He's I been got, in multiple rediscovering America cities at the same time I'm, as you. No, he didn't. I'm friends with his friends, and I keep like trying to like. Peter's funny guy. Like he, I love how he fucks with me, and they're like, no, nah, no, nah, he doesn't like you. <laughs> so. Mean Peter. Um, <laughs> That's what his name is. Mean Peter. What's the last yeah. thing he said to you? It's been a while, but his friends were always up to me. Like, yeah, Peter still hates you. <laughs> if you want to come out and meet us at a bar. <laughs> and I was like, no. Are they with Mean Peter? They're, yeah. Yeah. His friends are super <laughs> do you, cool. Do you call him Mean Peter or is that his Instagram handle? I'm the only one who calls him. That's his Instagram handle. <laughs> and he, he only tweets at me. Peter's a funny ass name. Too. Mean Peter is so. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> yeah. Isn't it, is it a burner just to be mean to you? No, no. I'm looking at his. No, he's tweeting. <laughs> he's tweeting about like Jake Browning and the and the Bengals. I knew a kid named uh, Cocaine Tim. What What about him? <laughs> he just loved coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, your Your roommate got. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. No, my roommate became just sort of like a like a. Like a character, he became like a mascot on Yik Yak. He had uh, he's this big dude. He ended up becoming one of my roommates, Canadian lacrosse player. Looks like Channing Tatum, super jacked tattoos, and he had a star tattoo on his elbow, the same one that Dak Prescott has. And on Yik Yak, he just he just became the go to person to talk about. So like someone would you remember how on Yik Yak someone would post like about a party yep. or something, mm-hmm. and everyone would just immediately reply. Is StarTat gonna pull up? Is StarTat gonna pull up? StarTat, StarTat. Yeah. He just became known as StarTat, and he didn't shake it until literally his senior year. He would walk into places and people would be like, "Oh my God, StarTat!" And he hated it. Well, people it was, were like mocking him, kind of mocking him, because he yeah, was sort it's of a yeah, they were mocking tattoo, the ripped yeah. guy that looks like Channing Tatum. <laughs> yeah, and he couldn't square it because he's like, "I'm ripped. I have tattoos. I'm a great athlete," and he just couldn't understand why they didn't like. Star they were tatting. they were they were mocking. It's amazing how something can break you like that. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, and he just hated the tattoo. But his funniest tattoo, this dude's a great dude. I love him. He had this tattoo by the star, and it just said inspiration. Oh, yes, <laughs> it was awesome. Dudes like that have never been inspired though. Yeah, he was looking for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was, it was, it was like one of those. It's like when you're trying to learn how to lucid dream, and you write a you you draw a dot on your hand to remind you. Ask yourself, "Am I dreaming?" Yeah, he was just like, "I need inspiration." Oh wait, okay, yeah, there on. it is. Not yeah. one of the hardest spots. If you get to an look. inspiration tattoo. You your inspiration was somebody else with an inspiration mm-hmm. tattoo. Yes, yes. yes. You saw it online. How yes. many people with a music note tattoo do you think know how to read music? Sort of in um, the those, same vein as like the Chinese tattoos. Like you can't yeah. read Chinese, but you, you have that. Yeah, yeah, I, do, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. Nick, can you what? Can you huck me one of those, Nick? 
Yeah. Arn's a drug dealer brings up a lot of memories. W- yeah. What else? I so was, you. So I would, you. I would get front of the ounce and then like people would be desperate for weed because no one had money. So like they'd pay me like we'd go out after a night. We'd be hammered. They'd be like, here's five bucks. And then they would just smoke all my weed. Why did you get start doing it? Money or French? Yeah. Like you I to, think that's you know, a better method than like joining a frat. Yeah, I didn't join. If a frat. you can afford to do it, that's a good method. Yeah, but, but do they even? What like do you mean him? by afford? Like go to jail? If you can afford? To, oh, not that, but to like be the weed dealer who just gives it away uh, to the, get people in your good graces. But I never liked hanging out with weed dealers. I wasn't. I never a did. I don't even. I know. was just a guy with weed. You know what I mean? They called you Orange, the drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> But was it like they were your friends or was it like a lot they, of them they were, were approaching you like the Red Cross? A lot like of them were my Somalia. friends and then a lot of them were just like, oh, we can we can just like get weed from this kid for like nothing. Did it ever get you attention from like women? Yeah. Yeah, I would smoke with girls, but like I never hooked up with any of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like every week I was on the hook for like $270 and most weeks I would not make so $270. Gr- but girls that you didn't know prior would come over and smoke with you? Yes. That's like hitting three of four legs on a parlay. Yeah. Exactly. And it's still just as <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah, same it feeling is, you still too. got the rush. Because yeah. the whole time I'm like, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But, but then you got kicked out for a different reason. Yeah. If we want to go down this path, we can. I, no, it's uh, up to you, man. Yeah. Well, my first week, my first... My first week at Penn State, I got an underage. I blew Same. A, yeah. I blew a point two. Oh my god! Yeah, like a point two one. Point I, three is death. Uh, I point two one is a blacked out. I think Very. blacked out. I uh, was walking home with my buddies from a party, and I kicked over a trash can, mm-hmm. and there was no one in the area. And then all of a sudden, like five bike cops pulled up. So that was like strike number one. Yeah, I was seventeen. So they had to call my parents. Nice. Not great. You, yeah, and knowing your parents, you know, or your mom, at least she was angry. They were ready to pull me from school. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, I was like laying low and I went out to a party <laughs> and I had one beer. What do you mean you were laying low? <laughs> the block was hot. I, I mean, I was like laying ner- low. I was nervous as hell. To get it's like what, like, like Red, were you, were you like a GTA character? Were you hiding behind a trash can with three stars? <laughs> I was just like super nervous to like go out and get drunk. That's but, fair. That's fair. Uh, and then on a Thursday night, I had the option to stay in and watch football with my buddy or meet up with my other friends at a party. I went to the party like kind of late. I cracked open one beer, had a sip of the beer. Party gets raided. Blew then, a point zero two. Okay. I've done that as well. A week yeah. later. <laughs> yeah. So I got two strikes now. In my first like two weeks of college, played safe the rest of the year. Just smoke weed, whatever. The last just week. deal weed, yeah. just sell drugs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just sell drugs. Yeah. run on the trip, yeah. play it safe. That's smart. Just go up to a federal fence. <laughs> yeah, and then the last week of school, we had like a party, and uh, that got raided. That was my third strike. I didn't get in police trouble for that, but the school, school trouble. found you... out, and that was my third strike. And they sent me. They were like, "You can't come back here Damn. next fall." That's almost hard to do at Penn at, State. At Penn State. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, uh, no, I have to like, I have to come. It was they hazed to death. It they was, rape kids. It yeah. was Penn State Altoona. Oh. <laughs> changes everything. Yeah. yeah. Mook, what? <laughs> <I've been laughs> that changes everything. We did Mook, what? We talk yeah. about Altoona all the time. Also I spent a year there. We were on the Bracket podcast yesterday and you kind of talked about this story. You never said Altoona. I was saving it for this. <laughs> Penn State Altoona. You went to Penn State Altoona? I didn't get in the main campus. And I wanted to go to Penn State. That like, is really bad. Belafonte High School is more Penn State than Penn State Altoona. A hundred, dude, I got there and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Wait, what? this happened at Penn State Altoona. You were, th- you were yes. you, wait, you were Orange the drug dealer <laughs> yeah, at Penn, Penn State, State Altoona. <laughs> <laughs> What? That is so that's so that's so uncool, dude. Oh, it was the worst thing in the. I was. Oh, I thought the you were coolest. I, thought you were like I ever Penn viewed State, you was when you were telling me this story. Uh, the Penn State oh. drug dealing legend, and then he yeah. drops in at the end that it's Altoona. Yeah. It was like the saddest part of my life for sure. And then you transferred to Temple, or did you take a year off? I took a uh, semester off, transferred to Temple. Oh, that's an then, upgrade. Like, that's yes. How I, that's how I like got my life together because I was like, oh, I have to like. So whenever you talk about like 
your time going to parties at Penn State. You're talking about Altoona? <laughs> so the first underage was at main. I would just go to main campus every weekend because my friends were there. That's really sad. Oh, you'd go- <laughs> and then you'd have to drive back to Altoona on Sunday? Yeah. How far of a drive is that? Like 35 minutes, 45 minutes. So you know about Altoona. We uh, talk about Altoona. Uh, often. The Molo, the cups. The, the sheets. The sheets. The hook, the train. Dude, the like curve. going to school and it's like half country folk and half like black people that are like, I want to go to Penn State. It was like the weirdest mix of people ever. Yeah. How many people were there? Four. Do they, aren't there a bunch of like side campuses colleges have? That There's they, Penn State has a bunch. Yeah. Like Harrisburg, Abington. They have like places everywhere. Yeah. And you were Penn State Altoona. Yeah. And I got into like good school. I got into like Indiana, Temple, like UMass. And I was like, I want to go to Penn State. So I did Altoona. Cause I got waitlisted for main campus and didn't get in. God damn. I never knew. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Factor. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Woo. woo. Rude boy. You hear that? I heard something. It's a factor alarm, brother. I means I'm about to talk about factor. The best meal delivery kit there is. They have calorie smart choices for big boys. They have, delicious meals for big boys too if you i mean they're all good they're all good so good. big boys little boys big girls little girls <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. i'm doing really really good doing this ad You're crushing now guys treat yourself to high quality delicious meals over the holidays choose from 35 plus chef crafted meals every week 35 plus meals can you name 10 meals off the top of your head Can't. no 35 is a ludicrous amount i think the average person probably eats six meals total yeah. Six different types of meal. Creatures of habit. 35. This December, get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy the fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash KB50 and use code KB50 to get 50% off. Dude, I, I just had one yesterday. Oh. The factor meal was so good. What you have? I had the cavatelli with queso or something else. It was phenomenal. My goodness gracious. Uh, chicken bacon ranch. Also. Golly. Uh, yeah, they sent a bunch of meals to us in the office, and I'm excited to bring those home. Uh, it's code KB50 at factormeals.com slash KB50. 50% off factormeals.com KB50. Uh, Rudy, mm. what you got there, man? Uh, it is a fish tank that you and Kyle gave me today. 20, That's right. 20 gallon. 20 gallon fish tank. Everything you need in there. A, Merry I Christmas. think it's an aquarium. You're the Yeah, it's not a fish tank. It's not mm. a goldfish bowl. Is that a, is there a Okay. It has it. all it has the filter, it has the water balance. It's a very it nice a, gift. You seem like you should be a fish tank guy. Thank you. But yeah. um I had to go I couldn't go pick this up, so I tasked Kyle with it. Cuz you said you were next to a Petco. But how did a, you before you get there? How did you land on this for you, me? You seem like a fish tank guy. That's that easy. Really? Yeah, yes. we're getting you a okay. fish tank. Got it. It was, it was the first it was, it was never a doubt. Never yeah. one doubt we've known since Halloween. Okay. Cool. Cool. How is it it's very obvious. What? I think it is. That you're a fish tank guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a, aquarium, I'm aquarium sorry. Aquarium guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's cool as hell. I'm actually pretty fucking excited. It's like a very fun new project and I've never really had pets, so it's it's good. I think it's going to be cool um Mhm. But we were going to go bigger. Yeah. We how, wanted how 55 gallons. 55 gal. Yeah. So that's an significantly ocean. more <laughs> longer and taller. Yeah. What happened? Kyle got it online. And then I don't know what happened. Yeah, this, this was the you waltzed in here with a 20. The worst retail experience <laughs> of my life. <laughs> no. At Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. So was it a pet smart? So, yeah. So when you're Thinking about, oh, should I actually get fish for this and like take care of them and upkeep with the tank? Yeah, you, you kind of should to reciprocate what I went through. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> what, <laughs> what could this have possibly been? Because you've had some bad retail experience. So this was the word. You can even, I, I, there, you can look this up. This is the PetSmart in South Loop. Um, can we yeah pull that up? The, the, you don't even have the reviews are abysmal. Um, all of them. All, my dog has PTSD. Don't take your pet here. <laughs> um that's not the worst part. I guess the rumors will like 4.2. 4.2? Yeah. Mm. In South Loop? Yeah. Go to go to Yelp. Go to Yelp. <laughs> Real quick. Um What did you write a review? I didn't yet. But it, 3 2.9 which is horrible. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. Bad. This place is inaccessible by vehicle, which is hard when you're taking an Uber to and from and have to lug a tank. 
This place is underground. In, no. In, in, a, in an underground parking garage bunker. So you have to go into the, the road level Whole Foods, then go out, then get on an elevator, go down two floors, then you're in a parking garage, completely dark. Is it a sketchy area? Yes. And then you go into the PetSmart, which is in the middle of a parking garage, if you can picture that. Hardly. And you go in and there's at the lobby a beggar warning you loudly about the poop on the floor. What is it? He's a he's a poor he's a maybe a homeless probably a homeless beggar. What's a beggar? <laughs> a beggar? That sounds yeah, like a, a beggar. That sounds like someone from the Shire. Uh, B e g g a r t, like someone who. I don't know what a beggar is. A, a beggar? I don't think it's a word, dude. B e g g a r t. That's what he typed. There's no such thing. Like a panhandler. A beggar? Is that is beggar not a word? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've used that in script and poetry There's and no a number of d journal entries. <laughs> His whole thing was, I'm going to loud... The yeah, You're going to walk in. I'm going to do you a favor by loudly warning you about the poop all over the floor in the lobby. <laughs> watch out hit. Watch out for the floor. And it, it is it is shit, <laughs> which is another thing. You, you go on the, the Yelp reviews. Some people say that it, it is disgusting. Some people said that they're, <laughs> they saw like a dead hamster on a wheel in one of the things. <laughs> but they're yeah, undeniably shit on the floor. So he tells you that, and then he tries to cash in his tip, <laughs> and it worked. I gave him the cash in my pocket, and then, but he's a pest, won't leave to the point where the staff is like, "Hey, you got to stop telling people about the shit on the floor. You got to get <laughs> maybe clean up the shit on the floor." <laughs> the staff was telling this homeless guy to leave and stop screaming about the shit on the floor. Clean up the shit on the floor. Um, so I got the tank. And I was purposely struggling. To Whoa, this thing was 55. Did you grab the 55 gallon? First? Yeah, I was like, I want to get the 55. So for think Rudy. of something twice as long as this, more so. Okay. And I and I I looked at this the two female employees doing nothing. And then I like made sure they know I was like struggling. getting that 55 tank and I couldn't pick it up. And I was like <laughs> like tamming it up. Like, hey, I can't lift this, seeing if they would do anything. This, no. That's heavy. So I got that one. And you can't get picked up by an Uber there. <laughs> and I can't carry that. And I got Mook skipped in my other hand, weighing me down. So I tell him, hey, uh, Uber can come here. And they're like, yeah, Uber can't come there. <laughs> he was stuck up top. So then. <laughs> this doesn't sound so bad so far. Yeah. Then they said, I said, well, how do I get picked up by Uber? They said, there's an elevator if you go outside. Walk across the parking garage, went to that, carrying that, doesn't work. <laughs> Long story short, I, I found a shopping cart, threw it in there, and manually pushed it up three floors of parking garage into the cold. And uh, Thank you, man. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. I appreciate Wait, it. Was there an issue because you bought the 55 gallon on the, on the phone, right, for pickup? Was there an issue of like trying to have to switch it to the 20? Um, no, that was a lie. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it for pickup. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh my. Whoa, what is this? I got I, I to gotta figure out like what kind of. I don't know. What I think is. people go, what the fuck? That's a disgusting picture of a Animals dog. are dying at this place. And I don't, I'm not even talking shit on their grooming department. Prepare to be attacked by groomers while management does nothing about it? And then he's showing pictures of his... Did he get bit by one of the yeah. employees? So, yeah, they turn the tables. They bite the... The, <laughs> the employees will... Bite. Erica, <laughs> Erica, the grooming soul. There, that's her. She's <laughs> smacking the camera. Assaulting pet pets. They're assaulting the pets at this establishment. Holy shit. <laughs> my reservation was lost twice. I was not allowed to see my dog, and he was being kept, even though I asked many times. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, this place is like a series of unfortunate events. She was housed in a tiny space. Oh, this pet, this pet smarts. Oh Holy shit. God. Well, I got to make this thing good then. I got to make it right. Yeah. You got to mm. go save those fish from there. Yeah. Yeah. I, where am I going to get? Where do you get fish? Are they, like I just had a pet smart. Yeah. And you carry them. You should get a beta from Walmart because they keep them. It's cheaper to just let them die than to feed them at Walmart. And so they just keep them in these tiny little cups. Seems fucked up. Uh, it is. You Ooh. should save one. So what is a beta fish? Um, I guess you said it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. There was an era where 
I, I feel like so many chicks had beta fish. Chicks have beta fish. Yeah. But they keep them in like tiny little bowls. They just feed off a of stem. Yeah. But like, it would love that. Yeah, they just put them in mason jars. Imagine going from a cu little Dixie cup to that. Yeah. Well, I got to, I, I want to make a nice ecosystem or something. Well, they're the fighting fish. If you put two male beta fishes, they'll fight. Yeah, they they'll be. Oh, that's cool. But the, be the better their environment is, the more colorful they'll be. Oh, interesting. I want to make like a scene. Oh, an aquascape. Yeah, yeah you I want to check make, out Serpa Design. I want to make a scene. I kind of want to make Omaha Beach. Sure, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like underwater Normandy. You have that Queen oh. Amidala. That would be cool too. Or make yeah. it Naboo. Dude, that, that'd be sick because it's kind Naboo's of Naboo's where the Gungans live, I believe. No, no, Naboo is where Natalie Portman's from. But aren't the, isn't, aren't the Gungans on Naboo as well? Just underwater? They're under the water. You're correct. Yeah, holy shit. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, what's the Gungan city though? I think it's just called Gungan City. Yeah. What do you mean Natalie Portman is from Naboo? She's well, Queen Amidala. Well, Padme and Padme. Amidala. Yeah. She just, she played the character Queen Yeah, Amidala. and her home planet is Naboo. Dude, her, my number one girl is when she was like, uh, the, the Attack of the Clones yeah, White. Yeah. Yep. yep. With those. And with it got, the, it got, the cut, it got yeah. cut up a little bit of blood. Yeah. No, she was fucking throwing 98. That thing was insane. Yeah. That was an awakening. That's a launch pad. That was, that was a launch pad for me too. I didn't yeah. care about fucking Kit Fisto anymore. I cared yeah. about. That was that moment Portman. where you're just like, oh, I, I love. Because I was a big Kit Fisto kid growing up. Who's Kit Fisto? Yeah, American that Girl doll? No, no, that's Kit, oh, Kit, 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 Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto's a Jedi. Yeah. He was my favorite Jedi. Oh, I was a dude? Yeah. So what do you mean you were you switched from him to Portman? Well, it was the same scene. I was, I was amped to see my boy Kit Fisto getting some movie love. <laughs> And then Natalie Portman was in the same scene, chained to a pillar. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't give a shit about Kit Fisto. That's when you knew you, you stopped following the plot. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you knew you loved pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the moment. I get I. You, it wasn't like the beauty of a, a woman's. That's how I knew I love the beauty of, the, of, of a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just the moment where I'm like, oh, I'm straight. Because an alien yeah. ripped the perfect midsection area uh -huh. of yes. her of her clothing. Yeah, oh. you're one year old when this came out, and you said you and you yeah, knew. No, yeah. you didn't, dude. I I'm look at that hair. Look at the rip. Reed. Reed, I'm with you. I remember the moment too. You know, but Reed said he was one years old and knew. That's crazy, but I do remember I was four when this came out. I know. I I, I just remember at one point being four, being like, oh, I'm not gay. The first time I felt like a tingle in like my dick <laughs> was um the Lady Marmalade music video. Lady Marmalade? That's uh, uh, Christina Aguilera. Yeah, Lil' yeah. Kim, Christina Aguilera, yeah. Pink. That's, yeah, she, that's why I used to go to Club Zoo to try to find her. Pink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, Wait what's was Club it? Zoo? It was an underage club for under 18. overage adults. Yeah, we had those. That was a big thing in um, growing up where kids would have like 16th birthday parties and if they had like their parents had money, they would just rent out a club. Yep. And it would just they fill it with 16 year olds. I never had gone. I never went to one. Really? Yeah. We oh, didn't. That, that was like a premise of a show. It was? What, Sweet 16? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was no Bentleys. Nothing like that. So Denver area would do that. Yeah. Like mm. the uh, the kids would get like rent out a club. That's where that's where the grind lines I was talking about recently really got solidified their legacy. The grind line. Oh, when you guys were. I learned a hard grind. lesson there too. Is don't wear a bathing suit to one of those. You wore a bathing suit to a grind line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the mesh underwear. Nope. You wore a bathing suit to a club. Yeah, it was a neon <laughs> theme, and I had a neon bathing suit, so I was like, "Oh, I'll just did you go this. shirtless?" No, I wore a shirt. Mm -hmm. um, but what? What? Why did you learn the hard way? What do you mean? It's in the name. Yeah. You got hard in the bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah. And without the mesh. Without the mesh. Yeah. That's why now I always wear compression shorts with a bathing suit because mm -hmm. you never know when they're gonna pop up. And there's no barrier. There's no, there's no, it's not, it's like going no armor. And then it's like, a, so you were in a grind line in a bathing suit hard. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was 1v1ing someone. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You're broken, dude. Yeah. <sighs> I got called a fuckboy recently and it really, it really put me on a tailspin. But it's it made you worse. It, it may, yeah, no, it has made me worse. And it makes <laughs> sense. And that's why it hurt so bad. Um, it's tough to be a fuckboy at 31. I'm 30 and it, yeah, it does hurt really mm -hmm. bad. Well, yeah, was it like a someone on the internet or someone no, in someone, your life? I was someone I, I was like, I was, I've been dating this girl and then she was just like, Oh, it's your girlfriend? No, it's not, <laughs> it's not my girlfriend, but we're dating. Uh, so the girl you've been dating called yeah. you a fuck boy. She's like, I really like you, but there's just like this immense, immense <laughs> fuck boy aura about you. And I, 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 I really just, 
I couldn't I couldn't speak. Well, you were in the bathroom putting on one of your nine necklaces. And yeah. You're like what you say? I had no I had no <laughs> yeah I had no recourse because I was like that, that I do have that and I don't really know how to combat it. I think it's just sort of inlaid in my my uh, coding or whatever. She was like flirting about it, like hey, like, no, I, think I was, hate it this was like about a it. It was a she little was bit reserved. of flirting, but there was like majority truth telling, and it, I think she was right, and it did it, it made me think pretty hard for a few days. I don't really know what to change or what to fix. Um, I'm not gonna change my behavior. Change your style, man. I'm trying to a little bit. I do dress like a buffoon, so no, it's cool though. Thanks. Yeah, I like it. I do too. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it it fucked me up for a little bit. That would fuck me up, man. Yeah. Good on her. I needed it. My lips have been chapped for like f- five days straight. The most chapped. Same. I uh, I had the like red. I had the circle around yep. my lips like I was a four year old. I've been mixing. You've been two different chapsticks. I was two- uh, Frenching. Frenching. Yeah, too I was Frenching. Yeah, tonguing them down. I was Frenching in Cleveland. That's why you need me around you. To, to I think you lose track in your head of how much time has actually passed. I know. I know. It probably feels like, oh, that was probably like a 10 second kiss. No, it was 10 minutes. <laughs> I do need you, you around. too long. I need. I do need you around to just tell me to tap. I should never go to Cleveland to French. Yeah. You got to treat it like yeah. diving. KB would be like that guy on the sideline holding back the head coach. Like well, I grab you by the pants. I had KB proofread a, ru- a love letter and it, I ended it with just Nick XXXXXX and he mixing it up. Mixing a hug, dude. <laughs> he that, yeah, he won't even mix in a hug. <laughs> Yeah, it's just be like, kiss. Yeah, you'll be like, like I'll, I'll be kissing so much, and you'll mm-hmm. you'll tell me to mix in a hug. I'm like, dude, I'm good. I know my limits. And then mm-hmm. the next morning, I'm just like, oh, mm-hmm. are they like swollen? Th- they're about to fucking fall off. I have to mix. I have to mix yeah, sticks. You got to start hugging. I do the Burt's Bees base coat, and then I do the advanced healing on the top. But the, the <laughs> having really plush lips just makes me want to kiss more. I got to put them on yeah. the IR. Mm-hmm. Maybe the extended. It's gonna be tough for you. We're gonna have to get you like a funnel. Like New Year's a, Eve coming up. Like dogs <laughs> oh my god, god, dude! I can't be. I can't be out of commission for New Year's Eve. He's. You try to make like noon a thing, like a noon kit, a noon makeup. <laughs> yeah, I do. You tried to. Popular, I tried to. Pat I remember the, you tried to popularize that, the noon like, makeout. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ding dong! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, you! <Yeah. laughs> Look at the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I, knew, I tried to patent the noon kiss. We'll see. But how they look now? I don't want to tell you this, but they look healthy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because I'm double sticking. It's it's gotten that bad. Yeah. I've not been a slut. It's the same lips that I've been kissing. Mm-hmm. Nick doesn't beat the pussy up. He beats the lips up. <laughs> I want. I'm just getting into kissing at 31. That's crazy. <laughs> it's. You guys have to try this. <laughs> I'll be with my girl and I'll just like put her head under a pillow. Just be like, trust me. <laughs> Close your eyes. Trust me. This is going to feel amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I might get in trouble for that. Nah. No, no, no chicks listen to this. Nick, have you been talking about our kiss life? <laughs> 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 Keep our kiss life private. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I genuinely like love kissing. <laughs> I had a really <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, God. yeah. Do you? I, I would. I said this before. I'd rather you walk in on you fucking than kissing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh Willie, yeah. Willie, Will. what's this? Your uh, white, uh, white elephant. Gift. Oh, this is a oh. white elephant gift. Okay, cool. You. You, Office wise, you picked for him. It's not from you. Correct. Oh, that sucks. Oh, this is actually, this is actually sick. I got a fifty dollar Visa gift card. That's kind of a cop out. Cop out. No, but but, 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 but wait. I got a lot of nicotine. Oh, oh that's, uh, sick. that's great. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a good gift. Because I'm addicted. Yeah, that's good. That's damn good. Yeah. It's going all right. We're kind of yeah. going off the rails a little bit. I'm talking about my personal Wait, life. what'd you get? Nothing. I was, I was literally just a feeling. Oh, you're just a deliverer. Appreciate it, bro. We got a nice Sixes. 
Okay. Merry Christmas. Yeah, that was Thanks, nice. Will. This is great. We'll use him for the thumbnail. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now, where was I? <laughs> yes. Can I get a fish for $50? Uh, yes, dude. Are they cheap? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't know. Yeah, you could probably get 100 for 50 But what if I got like one really fucking sick one? That would be sick. I think having one fish that you can really bond with. Should I start with one? Like Search for $50 fish. $50 yeah, fish? I don't know the price range of the top tier. Search yeah. like, let's look at Petco's fish. You know, speak, remember we talked about cribs forever ago. A mainstay for a while was sharks. Dudes would have the the, yes. the pet shark. Yes, and apparently sharks are mad expensive. I don't know why. He had pizza crust. I, all over yeah, this. I get that. You should get like a, a piranha. Is that too cliche? You said, you said something crazy about piranhas before we started recording. Oh yeah, you said, I said that I'm was in, insane. I, I'm in the. The un, I'm acknowledging that it's unpopular. I'm in the minority camp that getting eaten by piranhas wouldn't be as bad as people rate it. I promise you that would suck. It would be really That would be one of the last ways. Look at that, dude. Getting chomped by a hundred of those? Pull it up. It would take so long. Oh, wait. Let's rewind real quick. What? Let's make this. This is this is bad, but like if I walked in on you making out. Oh, you. Yeah. And I get that fully. <laughs> Your yeah. hands like on the back of her head, just like really. Right. That's that's what <laughs> I can picture you fucking. Making, I can close my eyes and see exactly how you fuck. Kiss I can't it, imagine yeah. you kissing. And you're right. Kissing <laughs> actually got me over my fear of fucking because I was like, as soon as I started kissing, I was like, I have to start fucking. This is uh, something is uncanny. This is not right for me. I, I don't know what the when I'm starting like. We're spending New Year's Eve together. Like when, I'm gonna. Am I going to see you kiss? We're yeah. We're doing a, an event. Again, I don't think you have to kiss at midnight. I think that's... Uh, you're going to be with your girlfriend. Yeah, I don't, yeah easy. At an event. We're at a black tie I know, event. It's, yeah, it's going to be 11-11. You're like, I got my wish. We're going to start early. And it's going to be <laughs> fucking 49 dude, minutes. Dude, my tie's going to be you. so loose. My hair's going to be messed up. I'm just like, it's not even fucking midnight yet, dude. I've gone four <laughs> rounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got Vaseline and a fanny pack. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna like. Can, I'm gonna just be like, dude. Can you please just fuck her at midnight? I don't want to see you kiss. <laughs> Are you worried about it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm worried about having a wedding. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah that's that's. Yeah, cool. well, I guess that's normal. Yeah. Yeah, but kissing at midnight with people around. I want to see KB hug his bride <laughs> oh. <laughs> instead of kissing. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna be so annoying about it too. Me? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna steal. Yeah. I'm, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I don't want a photo of you kissing, but I do want like a live photo of you like pushing her hair back so you can go in. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Boomerang. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You thinking about it? I'm thinking about the clock striking. <laughs> All the cool guys, you and your cool friends. <laughs> <laughs> and like winking at me mid kick. Like I'll open my eye and look at you. Yeah. And like you're, the helicopter you with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you just kiss her on the forehead. That's not gonna fly. No, it's not gonna fly. You're gonna have to lock lips, dude. Yeah. I guess we have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first New Year's with her? Last year. And did you kiss her at midnight? No. <laughs> no I've never done that. I've had girlfriends on New Year's Eve, and it just never crossed my mind. Well, you're gonna be surrounded by people doing it. You're gonna have to black Is out. That, that's not actually like you don't go to like a nightclub. This isn't a nightclub. This is a hotel, like, like a, a, a black tie event. event. Yeah, I think some people. It's like you know, dancing at a wedding. You don't have to do it. I think everybody's gonna do it, man. Rudy. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. No, I don't know about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cancel, aren't you? You're not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. I don't want to go. <laughs> everyone wants so to do it. <laughs> everyone likes it. Everyone enjoys it. Okay. I mean, I just, I don't know. Logistic. I don't know. What do you mean logistically? I don't know. Like fundamentally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. 
theoretically. Uh, text her right now and just be like, "Do I have to, do I have to kiss you on New Year's?" <laughs> that actually would be playful. Right? Don't do it. I don't want to get you in trouble. Nah. Nick, can you sauce me one? Uh, yeah, for what sure. We man. Got, what do we got? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, that's yeah, that's nerve wracking. Oh, wait, I? back to piranhas. You'd rather get killed by a piranha than um, other animals. One piranha would suck. Imagine having to get killed by one piranha. I don't know how they actually do it because I've only seen it in movies. Is that how do they swarm? Are they swarmed by the hundred? Yeah, okay. never mind. Um, I, I saw I saw a picture of a guy who was eaten against my will who was eaten alive by a piranha. And then that made you think this wouldn't be that bad. But I'm fine with like, I guess, is their bite aggressive? Yeah, do they bite in a rip? I think I could do a bunch of small bites. That's what, how they do it. Yeah. To death. Because I can handle small bites. <laughs> <laughs> but the big bite would be the quickest death. Would you rather, would you take one bite from a piranha to get out of a New Year's kiss? I'm trying to think of body parts. You could choose the body part. My ever growing ass. <laughs> <laughs> My burgeoning fat ass. <laughs> Wait, you know it's getting fat. You have a rip under your leg right there. Wait. Oh yeah, your your ass is too big for pain. Time, I've been I've been lifting my ass off, and it's just like, oh, KB's ass is growing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I was like, give me some dealt love, give me some try love, give me it, some lat love. It's always just the ass. <laughs> Wait, so what you, am I have you noticed doing? that it's growing? No. Yes. 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 <laughs> you, you, what, what podcast were we on? Is it out yet? The Yak was that on the Yak Christmas special? Was it? You said you've been aroused by your own ass in the room. Uh, I, I think I was drunk when I said that. <laughs> you said when you do squats in the shower, you purposely try to get a glimpse out of your peripherals, <laughs> so it kind of still looks like a chick's. When I do the air squats, it's like, all right, I'm fucking, this is something that I can get down. Like it's a confidence boost because I don't like see myself as. But a you're viewing it as a woman's ass if you're being aroused by it, in a way. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, oh, yeah, like th this is the motivation I need. Like that looks good. Like, but like ar arousal, like turned on. Yeah, yeah. Like I would get a little bit like sexually charged <laughs> <laughs> by your own asses. Uh, didn't you? Haven't you gotten hard from thinking about your boner in a dream? <laughs> what? No. I've gotten hard about thinking about my boner in a dream? Did you say that? My first wet dream was about me jerking off. That, that's along the same <laughs> lines, yeah. I just wasn't creative. Like I didn't know what a woman it's was like. It's not like you're sexualizing yourself. It's, yeah. That's just all I knew. I could have fucked anything. I didn't know the rules. All right, all right fine. I, I was enchanted by my own ass. You came to your own dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Fuck. <laughs> I'm picturing like an inception like if Leo is like instead of like making this huge money move for this like big oil bear and they're He's like jerking off let's make this guy jerk off and right before he dick. comes like it's like you see the top spinning right next to him <laughs> and it <just> ends <laughs> we got him it's just uh, an elaborate prank <laughs> uh, we have the fucking uh, talent show right after this I have yeah. no idea how it's going to go I'm nervous for myself. Yeah, even though I think that's it's going to be a disaster for other people. I haven't. We'll I haven't looked at the list of the people doing things. I can't really look someone in the eye and be like, ah, "That wasn't. That wasn't good." Yeah, I don't think you. So I nice. don't think. I don't think this is like America's Got Talent. Yeah. you know, you don't have to do that. What would really impress you? Like, what is something that people do? Like, do magicians impress? Magicians you? juggling get me. Cr yeah, like crazy. Um, <laughs> singing incredibly. I, I love. It. I'm a sucker every time. Mm -hmm. uh, dancing now No not dancing I don't want to see dancing Okay mm. Don't want to see like stand up comedy Nothing against it no, we, we have, There's uh, a time and a place for that We have no stand ups No line up tonight. Yeah. There was one guy who said just his His talent was fuck you guys Yeah He's my favorite That's oh, yeah that's I good. think we picked him Yeah we did Yeah That's a strong one Cool And then the winner gets my seat on the act tomorrow Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That's rad. Cool. Yeah. Uh, throw in the ads and then, uh, yeah. Any housekeeping? Uh, a couple of things, but we're 
we're good on time. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. God bless.